Hey Trailblazers, I'm Oriana Grant reporting with another edition of the Vanguard TV. Are vines still relevant? Jillian Canlis went around LT to see what our Trailblazers think. Good afternoon Trailblazers, this is Jillian Canlis with the Vanguard TV. Today I went around the school to see if students could finish the vine. Here's how they did. Don't mess with me! I have the power of God and enemy on my side! Yeah! Road work ahead! Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. I smell like beef. Look! If your name is Junior and you're really handsome, come on, raise your hand. Yeah? <laughs> Talisa. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Happy birthday, Raven. It's not my birthday. Oh, no, it's, I can't <laughs> swim. I can swim. Somebody. Chamas, forget. Hey Riley, I spilled lipstick in your Valentino bag. <laughs> lipstick in my Valentino white bag? Ernie, what are those? Oh, these are the best shoes in the world. They're my Crocs. On all levels except for physical? I am a wolf. <laughs> Miss Keisha, Miss Keisha. Oh my gosh, she freaking dead. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> There are many classes students can take to cover their Tech Ops credit. Kelsey Burdick has a story about computer maintenance. Computer maintenance is a class taught by Ms. Williams that covers all things computers. Okay, computer maintenance is a class for students to get hands-on experience on how to fix and troubleshoot computers. Not only will they troubleshoot computers, they will learn how to build a computer from scratch. Then from there, they will install software. And after that, they will uh, troubleshoot any issues. They will fix any issues. Also, they pick up a little bit of um, hands-on experience of fixing printers, setting up network systems. But the main thing is, right now, as they're learning, they not only get the hands-on experience for themselves, but also for future employment. And also, they can get a college credit for it. Algebra 1 is a prerequisite to computer maintenance, and taking computer maintenance is required for networking, a 10th through 12th grade course. This leads to internetworking, which can be taken in 11th and 12th grade. Alright, so my future career, I have absolutely no idea, to be honest, I, I really don't know, I can't answer that. But computer maintenance is a good class for anything relating to computers because it teaches you about like how, how to disassemble a computer, how to reassemble a computer, how to not treat a computer. And uh, it, it, it can help you with other things relating to computers because it just gives you a lot of like general knowledge on that. And I feel that's why it's good. Oh, what inspired me? First of all, I didn't ever think I would ever teach any tech ed courses. When I started taking tech ed courses, I was at a junior college and all the men all the, were going into a class and they were very, very smart and they were very excited about what they were learning. So I learned uh, computer maintenance, oh, years ago. But when I started my first teaching career, they saw that I had all these courses that I made excellent grades in that are tech ed courses. One of them was computer repair, um, Cisco networking, uh, web design and so forth. They asked me, could I start their program at a school that was just rebuilding they, their uh, career in technology program? So I said, sure. And from there, I also teach college students as well. So I enjoy what I do. I, I just love this course. For those looking to learn more about computers, computer maintenance is a possibility. This has been Kelsey Burdick with The Vanguard. Our LTHS Theater has had a very successful year. Here's Zachary Weiner with all their recent accomplishments. 
At Lebanon Trail High School, each fine art and certain academic subjects compete in UIL competitions. On April 13th, LTHS's theater department wrapped up their UIL season at their regional competition at A&M Commerce. LTHS Theater's UIL show this year was The Book of Everything by Richard Tulock. The show is a story of a young nine-year-old boy and events in his childhood that teach him to be brave. LTHS Theater first debuted their production of this show on February 28th with their free public performance of the understudies and main cast both performing. Their district competition followed that Saturday on March 3rd with their bi-district competition taking place on March 23rd, area competition on March 29th, and regional competition on April 13th. The main cast consisted of Olivia Hankins as Thomas Clopper, Mia Wilson as Margot Clopper, Ian Salmon as Father, Macy Butler as Mother, Catherine Clark as Auntie P, Catherine Wardell as Mrs. Van Amersfoort, Talisa Wooten as Eliza, and Cy Manjapudi as Jesus. The show's ensemble consisted of Lily Sherman, AJ Jackson, Delaney Morrison, Shay Barnes, Arielle Klein, Alyssa Young, Parker Williams, and Zachary Widener later joining the ensemble due to an actor being injured. The show's tech crew consisted of Frank Ingalls as stage manager, Michaela Chua as assistant stage manager, Maya Goldberg working stage lights, Audrey Birch working LED lighting, and Abigail Love working sound. At the four UIL competitions, students earned awards recognizing their acting and technical work on the show. Olivia Hankins won the Best Actress Award at Districts and All-Star Cast Awards at Bi-Districts, Area, and Regionals. Mia Wilson won the Honorable Mention All-Star Cast Award at Districts, Bi-Districts, Area, and Regionals. Catherine Clark won the All-Star Cast Award at Districts. Macy Butler won the All-Star Cast Award at Area. Simon Japudi won the All-Star Cast Award at Bi-Districts. Catherine Wardell won the Honorable Mention All-Star Cast Award at Regionals. Our tech crew also accumulated some awards. Frank Ingalls won a Best Techie Award at both the district and area competitions, with Maya Goldberg also winning a Best Tech Award at the Bi-District competition. Congratulations to all of the theater UIL cast on their accomplishments. With the Vanguard TV, I'm Zachary Widener. Track had amazing results to finish off their season. Jim Anno has the scoop. LT Chess Track finished their season off recently at the area and district track meets. The boys finished second in the JV division at the UIL 4A district meet with a total of 139 points in the JV events. They finished the varsity division last with the lone competitor Drew Donnelly who competed at the area meet and got fifth in the 100 meter dash and fourth in the 200 meter dash. The girls placed second at the JV division at the 4A district UIL meet with a total of 114 points. They finished 5th place in the Varsity Division with the 4x1 team getting 1st place and the 4x2 getting 2nd. I asked the players and coaches on how they reflected at the meet and what they will look forward to in the future. Uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. We got 2nd as a team and then I was on the 4x4 and we won districts. Uh, it was really good, exciting, coming off a win, really fun, fun season, great season. I'm impressed because... It felt good after winning when I was only freshman with this only freshman with the sophomore, so it felt good. People gathering around me. I'm impressed with my results because last year all my times were about two seconds slower, and I improved by two seconds in every single event. Next year, I look forward to uh, going to state and hopefully bringing back a state state title. We wanted to make sure we had at least our two fastest guys on there, and at least three of the next two of the next three fastest on there. Um, just continuing to watch our kids grow and and be strong and and not be afraid of, of running a 400 meters. That's the ultimate, in my opinion, the ultimate race in track and field. And, and it says a lot about who you are as a track runner and who you are as, a, as an athlete. And, and that's why we put that challenge on our kids all the time. LTHS track represented their troll as their pride with a sensational finish. For the Vanguard TV, I'm Jimeno. Thanks for watching Blazers. If you have any segment or story ideas, please visit our website, lthsvanguard.com. From the Vanguard TV, I'm Oriana Grant.